morning, good morning, good morning. I am so glad that you guys decided to come back to my channel. My name is Anovia of The Core, and thank you again, guys, for coming back to my channel. So, so today, guys, we're going to do something a little different. It's not far-fetched, but it's just that it's going to be a little different. So... Um, as you can see, I am outside. I decided to get up this morning and take a break and just relax and, you know, on our lanai. Um, so, you know, I am in Florida, um, and this is considered as a, a lanai. Some people will call it a patio up north, but I'm in the south, so most likely the additional extension to your house is considered as a lanai and of course it's screened in okay guys so i decided to come out here and just take a break um i actually work a, another job and my job in the morning other than my business is ribbons event planning and like full catering which i actually do event planning i i have been doing it over 25 years and um no not over 25 see, i say over 20 years i have been in the business um doing weddings baby showers bridal showers um uh, fashion shows um just backdrops for small events and i also have a catering business which is controlled by my husband and I'm, going, I'm not going to say control, it's just that he's more on the food end, so I'm more on the event planning end. And we also have a mobile barbecue. Uh, we really utilize that part of the business during the summer when there's sports events for youth and children. Um, my husband and I participate in that. We don't get a large profit, but we our profit is doing more for the children um, during the summer and during the school year as well, which we actually um, was doing. We started off doing it with an organization where is that we um, provide food for the youth for sports events like uh, football teams and um, basketball teams. Um, we provided meals for them, for the children, or let's say the teens, uh, when they would stay after school to compete against another team so we would provide the food for them um <clears throat> we still got a small profit because it is considered as non-profit but it was a small profit but we we were able to provide the meals for the children and we love doing that so from that we kind of ventured off um my husband does the barbecue mobile which is part of our business as well we go um, to our local area, like some of our clients in the local area, we provide barbecue, fresh barbecue right there on the spot um, for our clients. And that is something that my husband wanted to do and I kind of like felt like this is great that he can actually do something that he loved as well as me. Okay, so I am the financial person. So I'm more of the planning, uh, marketing, financial if you go to our website that is me I actually did the marketing for that um, when I do my videos this is me I do my I do the videos for our business um, so today guys we're gonna do something a little different like I said in the beginning uh, we're gonna go to our local church while I was setting up for one of the family reunions earlier this month um, no in fact it was last month um, one of the um, members of our church came to me and asked me to do a small little setup for her prayer workshop, which is very important. So guys, um, this is going to be a small video, a short video. I'm just going to show you how I set it up. I'm going to show you um, the little, the items, the, the decor that I actually purchased off of Amazon. So. Everything that you see in this video is from Amazon, okay? So I don't have to put Amazon across the screen. Just know it's from Amazon, okay? Um, other than that, guys, again, thank you for coming to my channel. I hope you like this video. And so let's go. Until next time. Oh, yeah, and I forgot. Please subscribe to my channel. I would like for you to like, share, 
and hit that notification bell so I can bring you more videos in the future. Okay, guys? So let's get started. Okay, guys. So guess who decided to join us this morning out on the lanai? Uh, okay, so while I was talking to you guys, uh, my husband decided he wanted to make breakfast outside. One thing about living and marrying to a cook, I'll say I say a chef because he is a chef. Um, I never have to worry about um, <laughs> preparing my own meal. But guys, just know that um, after this, we will continue. I will be going into my inventory in my garage to see what I have and then I will be purchasing some more things um, I already saw the things that I needed from Amazon um, I already purchased some things from Amazon so the next step will be actually um, just putting everything together so I can finish off this project okay guys so I guess you can finish watching my husband cook breakfast okay garage and I am looking for my purple florals and I found them here they are those are not the ones I want um, I remember that I had an arrangement already together it was purple and yellow and my client wants that she wants purple and yellow um, so I know we had some in a box somewhere and I thought I put it in a crate because uh, my husband he likes for me to separate the florals by color so that he can store them back and look I didn't found the box guys so this is what I'm going to use um, I think I just have to put some more filler in the vase and then we'll be okay with just just using these okay guys so let's continue Okay guys, so now I'm starting to blow up the balloons and as you can see I still have my work clothes on. I figure let me sit down and finish this project uh, just preparing for the next day because this is Thursday, Friday I will be at the church to set up and it only requires for me to use 50 balloons. I think I'm going to use just 50 balloons. Okay. It's not going to be nothing big or anything like that. Just something just to put in the room, just to decorate it just a little bit. Okay. So I'm going to blow up purple, yellow. I'm going to do a little bit of rose gold and maybe some clear balloons. I think that would be appropriate. Okay. So I'm just going to continue to blow up. Okay.
guys, so this is my backdrop and I am preparing my steamer to steam out the wrinkles as well as the creases. Okay guys, so um, I got this steamer from Amazon, of course. They have multiple. You just have to get the right one. Um, also, you can see this backdrop. I also purchased this from Amazon as well. And um, guys, let me just say this. So I know that many people purchase large backdrops on Amazon. And the worst thing you can do is put up a backdrop that have all these different creases in it. Oh my God. So let me just give you a little tip. So first off, I actually uh, steamed out the best way I can, you know, using a steamer and um, after I did the best thing I can do is probably get down and steam most of the creases out I also took a blow dryer after I finished steaming the whole thing because you know it's kind of like damp if you do it right the backdrop actually get damp it's kind of like a material between a paper and a and kind of like a cloth um, so what I did is I kind of like dampened it so that you know it can be nice and damp and then I took a blow dryer and blow dried it from a distance and I put it on hot um, not a lot not very very high and I just steamed it from a distance and guess what guys it came out perfect I mean perfect so just try it and see if it works now I am here at the uh, the hall uh, it's a small hall that we have here at the church and where they're gonna actually have the, the prayer worship um, workshop and see mr. Robinson is kind of like uh, yeah let me just get your stuff okay <laughs> But it's not going to take long. I only did 50 balloons, so I'm going to set the balloons up around the backdrop. And I already did the tables. Um, I used purple plastic because, you know, they wanted plastic on the tables. They didn't want cloth. You know, that no one wants to basically wash anything. So this is going to be a really simple setup. So after I do this, then I'm going to like glance over the table so you can guys can see the tables and then that's it. Okay, so let's finish.
guys, so I am just realizing that, huh, that I am going to have to make this fuller because um, I didn't plan on doing it that way, but you know, I think it looks a lot better fuller. I just have to be very, very careful of blocking the backdrop in the visual on the backdrop. That's very important. You don't want to do that, even though you want to put up so many balloons, but um, I just wanted to do something just to, you know, brighten up the room a little bit. But okay, guys, so it looks like I'm going to have to add 10 more balloons. So let's go. Okay guys, this is the end of this video and I hope you liked it. Always subscribe to my channel, like, share, and hit that bell so I can bring you more videos. Bye-bye.